We love our small business and even though it is a ton of work, <laughs> we enjoy helping out our community. But you may be asking yourself, should I open my business in Roanoke? What about the economic climate? What about my family and my home? Am I risking those things too? Well, we don't have a magic eight ball, but we did want to give you a little insight into the small business journey and some highlights about some rough decisions we've had to make when we decided to grow our business roots here in the community. Our business is built on four pillars, honesty, expertise, communication, and being advocates for all of our clients. That's how we founded and continue to grow our business. Yeah, and I think what's interesting is that when we have our initial consultations and also following up with past clients, they hit on some of those pillars, right? They say the most important thing of a realtor is honesty, communication, and really protecting us. I'm like, ooh, that's a pillar. <laughs> so should you open a small business in Roanoke? Well, my answer to you is gonna be yes. And why is that? Because of my experience in the community working alongside other small business owners here in the Roanoke Valley. I even had a podcast that we have 60 episodes sitting out there with other local business owners. So there were nonprofits, business owners, 60, just within a that two years really cool. time frame, right? You love doing that. And, and you were newer to the Valley. Mm -hmm. So it really helped him not only make new friends, but learn more about the business culture. And you still have a lot of those connections with, well, I should say we, because we still do. I still frequent a lot of them. We're really big advocates of small business owners because we know and understand the value that they provide to our community. Yeah, and, and in general, our community is super supportive. If you see mm -hmm. a new business coming up or coming out, you have people that are supporting, that are tooting their horns and like yelling from the rooftops, hey, you got to go to this particular entity, this particular business and support them because they want to see you be successful. And so from your perspective, what do you think are some of the industries that would really thrive in this area? Well, you know, typically we talk about restaurants, we talk about retail, of course, we've got plumbers, roofers, electrical, landscaping, financial institutions, you know, other hospitality type things mm -hmm. uh, along with restaurants. And then of course, outdoor businesses for camping, hiking, biking, yes. those types of experiences, right? Because of our great amenities around here. Yeah, and what about tech space? Because I've seen a lot more people coming here that have opportunities to work remotely or they're building up some tech opportunities. Yeah, so, so tech's not as big per se, mm -hmm. but I mean, we do have access to tech center over by Virginia Tech over in Blacksburg. We do have high speed internet here. So if you're looking to do something on the tech side, I think it's a bad thing. You've got the resources and the infrastructure here that could actually help set you up for success on that front. Yeah, and you made a good point with the um, proximity of colleges and universities to our area. That brings a lot of influence and just I think it just brings a lot of space that you normally wouldn't have in a valley. But one thing I want to point out too is that not only are people um, inviting and welcoming to small business owners and try to support them, but you're going to find a lot of resources here that you need. I know that when we were pursuing, I was pursuing another business too, which is still on my plate. It's still uh, one, on her bucket one list day. by all means. One day, Lord, <laughs> one day, come on. We met with Small Business Development Center and they were monumental in helping me really, I thought I had a great business plan fleshed out and they dug in deeper and asked those hard questions because they really wanted to see me succeed. So I appreciate them, but there's a lot of other resources too here. Yeah, those are free resources like that you think you're gonna have to pay for it? No, mm -hmm. they are free and I see them on social media, I see them on other places, reminding people we are here, we wanna support you, we wanna help you grow and thrive. So they're free resources, we can hook you up with them when you get ready to make that leap. Overall, I think Roanoke is like this mighty little metropolis that can really help you grow your business if you know where and when to start. Yeah, a lot of our clients and friends are small business owners and we love working with them to help them secure homes and properties that can help add to their overall wealth and stability in the Roanoke area. You know, I can't talk about small businesses without thinking about some of our clients. And specifically, I'm thinking about a family that's actively looking now, Sean and Becky, moving from West Virginia. Sweet, sweet family of five. 
They're moving here and wanting to start a landscaping business. So he's done research, he understands the industry, and then I think they're just gonna thrive here. That's gonna be a great profession for them. Well, yeah, I mean, like we said, we are gonna be welcoming from our end, as well as all the people in the community, and we've got another family we helped uh, last year uh, they've already bought a home here. They've got a business that they're transitioning from Florida to here. It's an online teak furniture business, but they're gonna need warehouse space and some other things. They can get everything up here so it's easily accessible. They can continue to expand their business here in the Roanoke Valley. And we had the infrastructure in place and logistics, so it, it wasn't like they were moving to a remote place where they no, had to not about, yeah. work on shipping or anything. So it was a pretty smooth transition. Yeah, absolutely. And and we really enjoy partnering with those people, those small business owners in our community and referring them to our clients too. That's, that's a real joy to be able to make that win-win because we understand the value. <laughs> that's right. But hey, look, we know that starting a business and managing a family and and just trying to even have a social life can be really complicated but, but it's worth it for us and we feel honored and grateful to help our clients achieve their professional and personal goals so if you're interested in moving to the Roanoke area to open a small business or if you're looking to expand your business into a new area give us a call today and we would love to chat and see what type of business you are thinking of opening